The General Overseer of Palace of Priest Assembly, Pastor Otive Ibozo, says over 2,000 religious leaders have been trained to shun, speak up, and stand up against corruption in the phase two of the shun project funded by John and Catherine McArthur Foundation. Speaking at the Capacity Building Workshop on Consolidating Anti Corruption Platform held in Abuja, the cleric said training is in line with the global of the project to mobilize Christians to join the fight against corruption in Nigeria. Otive, who said corruption poses significant challenges to economic development, social justice, and stability, noted that the project seeks to initiate reform that will bring about changing behaviors regarding accountability within and outside the church. We are focusing on consolidating sustainability of the project. Consolidating the anti-corruption platform is part of our sustainability plan. The idea is to consolidate the platforms of militants against corruption, Christian women against corruption, and youth vanguard against corruption beyond the life cycle of the project. The cleric father highlighted some of the gains recorded in phase one and two of the Sean project and its implication regarding changing the narrative of corruption in Nigeria. 106 Pentecostal churches have established social arm of the church to fight corruption and address other social issues in society. We have established 61 anti-corruption platforms including ministers against corruption, Christian women against corruption, and youth vanguard against corruption. Other speakers in their remark commended the project, recommending it as a viable platform to win the fight against corruption. We can influence, we can affect the government when we are standing properly. But when we know we are speaking from our heart and we are speaking on behalf of God, we are mobilizing Christians, especially these uh, uh, Christian leaders, to join this fight and mainstream anti-corruption messages in their sermons. That is very, very key. Being among several gains recorded in the second phase of the Sham project, presently implemented in 26 states of Nigeria, include the discovery of about 115 scriptures in the Holy Book, that captures the meaning of corruption and the imperative to adhere to the standard of honesty, integrity, and transparency expected of Christians. CNN News.